All right, my man, state your name. Let them know you on Nickavelli TV. Yeah, my name is Sean on Nickavelli TV. All right, you're about to so, get it in. You a Nick fan? Yeah, I, I definitely am. All right, talk to me. Why are the Knicks you like? Uh, be honest with you, I like, even though I'm an old school Knicks fan, I actually liked it when they had Marbury. All right, because I'm really a Knicks fan because I'm a New York fan, period. You see what I'm saying? But I love it when my team got some players that can that can, that can, that can boost the image of the Knicks, perhaps even win a championship. So I kind of liked it when they had Marbury and, you know, and the fellas. And all that. What you like about Marbury's game? Well, I like Marbury because, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a point guard fan. I'm a, I'm a fan of the guard. In basketball, I'm a fan of guards, the guys who got a handle and who can play like that. So he brought that look to the Knicks, along with Melo. He brought that... He brought that type of swag to the Knicks. You see what I'm saying? They didn't bring us no championship or nothing, but he brought us enough to say that, yo, we got a little team at that year. Now, when I ask a lot of people who's the greatest guard concerning Knicks basketball, the name that pops up, believe it or not, is Claude Frazier. Walt Claude Frazier. What's your input on that? The greatest guard Knicks had? There's no right or wrong answer. I, I want mean, to say Latrell Sprewell. And I know the list goes back before that, but I mean, as far as my recollection, you know, the, the age that I am, and from what I've seen, yo, know, Latrell's free well. As far as like all around guards, yeah, Latrell, man. Like, we had some guards before, but Latrell, bro. You even like him more better than uh, Marbury? Um, game wise, yeah, I have to admit, yes. But, you know, I'm from Brooklyn originally, so Marbury's from Brooklyn, you know, that's part of the reason. You know, I got a, we had a Brooklyn, we had a New York native on the team, so I was just happy for that alone. Okay. You know? Okay. What about Carmelo Anthony? Do you miss Carmelo Anthony or? Yeah, image wise, uh, image wise, I like Carmelo Anthony for the for the for the, for, the, for the Knicks. You know, as far as stats wise and producing, you know, some type of uh, some type of prosperity for the Knicks. I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't yet really to see too many people come to do that for the Knicks. So upon that, that's let me down. But as far as the Knicks keep thriving to try to keep trying each year, each year to put together some type of team, whatever, it still shows the spirit of a New York team. Never giving up. New York don't give up. I like that, man. New York is 24-7, 365. So all of our teams reflect that. Okay. Okay, and what you think about Chris Pazingas? The unicorn. I like him. I like him, but you know, he had the Knicks, man, so he got to put on. So he just can't come to the Knicks and not put on. And that's for sure. You don't like what he's done so far? What he's done so far has been, has been, has been, has been stupendous. It's been stupendous. I, I can't lie to you. You know, especially him being the kind of caliber player that he represents. Not, not, to, not, to sound, not to sound athletically biased here or ethnically biased here, but for a person of conversation, you're not expecting – you know, tall, slender white guys to produce as athletically as they're producing. So upon that, yes, I consider that I'm proud of the guy. And I like what he's doing for the Knicks and what he brought to the Knicks. Now, you're aware that he got injured, right? Yes. When he jumped, dunked on, I think it was Giannis, am I pronouncing his name right, from Milwaukee? Mm. I think it was Giannis from the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay. You know? Uh... A lot of his critiques say that Chris Pazingas needs to bulk up. Like he's too too frail. Yeah, I would agree with that also. I would agree with you have to you would have to bulk up. We've got to put some type of some type of strength on you. You know, you're on the East Coast. Even though the West Coast has a lot of bigger guys or whatever, but the East Coast has a lot of competition. So you wanna be athletically you wanna be athletically um, competitive with these guys. Definitely if you got height like that type of sustenance. There's a lot of physical uh, centers in the leads and power forwards that may give you a run for your money if you're not in shape. So I definitely would agree with him putting on a couple of pounds and or if not just tightening up the frame that he has. Now when we talk about guards, since we're on the subject of guards, right. when I mention Frank Nilakino, what come to mind? Okay, Frank Nilakino, that's that, it may be a bit out of my reach. Okay, that's the kid from France. Okay. A lot of people say that he needs to pick up on, on on his offense, but he's great on defense, man. Well, what they got those about those guys from France and from those parts of town is that those guys seem to have a, a, a peculiar game. So, as far as on defense, I commend them on that because they usually actually come in the form of offensive players. Players that can get to the basket. You know, players that can make things happen. Like, you know, we see that. We see that with examples of guys like Tony Parker, you know, 
and guys like that, Ginobili. So, you know, those type of individuals coming from those parts of town, we obviously see that whatever's going on and their athletic psychic in those parts of town, it includes an offensive, you know, an offensive warrior strike type of mentality. So, hey, I, 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 can, give them that. I can give them room to grow. All right. And Trey Burke. Trey Burke. Familiar with Trey Burke? Came from Utah. God came to the Knicks. He played at the Dykeman on... Um, Back the tournament. Um, with Trey, Trey Burke, I'm mean, I'm not too familiar with Trey Burke per se, specifically, like any you know specifically things about him. Well, maybe he's gonna contribute to the Knicks. And, you know, he feels as though I feel as though I feel as though any guard that comes to the Knicks, man, like I said before, you gotta put on, man. If your capability is not to the capability in which you've seen players that came before you, such as Starberry, you know, guys like the Trail. You gotta study, man. You gotta put on, man. You, you said Starberry, you mean Marbury? Yeah, well, you know, I got. Oh, 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 you say Starberry? Yeah, I got oh, oh, that's that Starberry. Brooklyn native yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, you're a little biased with it. Yeah, all right, yeah. it's all good because I'm biased good. with my yeah, Knicks. Yeah, but it's baby. New York, though. You know, it's far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, let's talk about these free agents. Cause you know, 2019 Knicks gonna be lit. We got the money, baby. We're ready for war, and we're gonna attract big players. Players like possibly Kevin Durant, Jimmy Butler, Kyrie Irving. Any of them players I just mentioned. Think it would be a good fit in New York? Definitely Kyrie. Okay? Because I would love for New York to have someone that has not built too much of a legacy anywhere else and be able to come to New York and establish their legacy here. So even though Kyrie has a ring already, I would love to see him come here and build the, the, the gist of his career at New York, actually get a championship and you know build his image here, solidify his image here at New York. Durant... Yeah, basically anybody in the league would want to have Durant. But personally, me personally as a New York fan, I would love to have Kyrie. Over Durant? Yeah, over Durant. Okay. I can't agree. I can't say that everybody's going to say that. But me personally, over Durant, yes. Okay. And it's also a rumor that Draymond Green from the Golden State Warriors is um, opting out his contract and could possibly be looking at the Knicks. Now, Draymond would be a great look. A great look. I would love to see Draymond in New York. He definitely would be a product. He definitely would be a product of productivity. All right. He's a force to be reckoned with. You know, he got strength. You know, he's round, well-rounded player, and he definitely would bring that type of attitude to New York that New York needs. New York needs some type of form of aggression in their playing, also, which we've been lacking for over the years. All right. And as far as Kevin Knox and Mitchell Robinson. Yo, we wear Kevin Knox before it from Kentucky. Not familiar with Kevin Knox. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson. He broke the summer league records with four blocks per game ever. Well, it sounds like it sounds like the Knicks is going to have a whole new squad, like a whole new youthful team. Man. Yeah, yeah, because we under Coach Fisdale. Yeah, you so. aware Coach Fisdale? He came from the Memphis Grizzlies, coach. Mm. You know. I'm all for him, man. Like, especially a bunch of new, new legs, fresh knees. I'm all for him. We give him a shot and see where they go, man. Hey, I'm rooting for him. I'm a Knicks fan. All right. And with that being said, man, I want to thank you for joining in on the Nickavelli experience, man. Thank you for your time, man. No doubt. Doing that little, take a little for yo, me, baby. Yo, anytime, man. Nickavelli TV, man. You know, we out here in New York doing what it do. We all in a big support of the Knicks. Yo, MSG, stand up. And that's being said, we out. Peace.